all of my compadres bribe the boat here. Or should I say bonjour? Because I actually wanted to make this video for um, anyone in Paris right now um, who dealt with this really horrific tragedy. And just to say, um, I can't really say that I understand how you're feeling right now or what losses you felt when um, that event happened. But I'm here to say that I'm here to give all my support and do whatever it takes, even to say like, hey, like do videos or whatever. That's all I can do right now, just give videos or anything. But I just really wanted to make this video to just give some support to say, um, to say don't give up and everything will be all right because even though that that happened you can't give up you really cannot give up because you are an example right now you're an example and if you choose to give up right now then others will just give up and just fall when isis comes but if you paris the people of paris decide that you will not take this event and then let it go in vain and just to give up and do whatever Isis says then everyone will see that and be like so scared and be like hey since they give up maybe we should give up too because Isis is growing stronger but if you stay strong then others will see that and they will fight back now I'm not saying you know just like go like anywhere see anyone who goes to Isis and kill them no but what I'm really saying is that when they attack you, don't react. Because if you don't give a reaction to them, then that really defeats their purpose of what they're doing. And I know what their purpose is, to spread their religion. But if you let them control you with the things that they're doing, they're gonna be unstoppable. But if you let them, well, no, let me word it again. If you don't let them do that, then they can't spread anymore. Because if you say yes to ISIS, they will continue to spread. And not only will they sort of say, um, take a strong foothold of Paris, they'll take other places as well. And that is something that we can't handle. They are a pest and they need to be taken care of. But in due time, they will be taken care of. But for now, just have faith in yourselves and have faith in God because he will take care of your needs. And I know that it's hard losing, well, I really can't say how hard it is, but um, I did have a loved one um, die a, lo a while back, not a while back, but a long time ago. It was hard, it really was hard. Thankfully he, was, he wasn't taking a, um, taken, you know, he didn't die from anyone. He died of natural causes, but I didn't have anyone who was murdered or killed, but all I can say is I know that it must be hard, and it must be really hard. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, you can get over it, no. Losing a loved one is very difficult to get over it. But just to know, their loss can't really go in vain. They can't really go in vain. Because if you let ISIS run Paris and continue terrorizing you, then there's really, well, then your loved one would, is dead in vain. But if you continue to fight on from ISIS and you continue to support other organizations to stop ISIS, then yes, go ahead, do that. But just remember that you need to remember to not give up. You can't give up. And I'm losing a lot of words right now because I can't really say anything about this incident, but I know, well, I can't really say I know because I really don't know, but it must be very difficult to comprehend what happened. But I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And if you want me to do a video, I'll do a video. It doesn't really matter. I'm tired of ISIS anyways. I'm not really a big supporter. I'm just, I'm done with them. I really am. They're just a pest, as I said before, just a huge, huge pest. They need to be taken care of. 
Because if they continue to grow, who knows who's going to stop them? No one does. But ISIS needs to stop. I don't know. I don't care how, but they need to stop. Because what they're doing is wrong. Absolutely wrong. And what they did to you, Paris, was not right. No matter how they dignify it, no matter how they say it, it's still wrong. No matter how they say it, it's still wrong. And I want you to know that. And you should know that as well. I mean, obviously, bombing Paris is not okay. Killing hundreds of people is not okay. For what? For their religion? No, it's not okay. It's not okay. I mean, obviously, you guys should know that, but it's not okay. It really isn't. And I'm sorry I didn't wear my hat, but for those of you who subscribe to me, know me, but I just wanted to do a really serious one. And I'm not sure if you take me seriously or you thought that was just complete garbage, but I don't know. I just really felt compelled to say something about this incident. And I know it's very difficult for you. And I keep saying I know, but I really don't know how it's like to have my country, not, um, um, not here, but in my original country, Guatemala. I don't know how it's like to have a country attacked, my country attacked. So I can't really say I know. But again, I want you to know you have my full support. And I will do anything for you guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. So thank you everyone for watching. And if you like this video, give it a like, support the Red Guard. And this is Brian the Bold signing out. Stay bold out there. Ciao.